Hi guys, welcome to another video from Sigma Bros. Today we have a care guide on the Black Ikara. This is a very rare cichlid in the hobby and one that doesn't have a ton of research readily available. We're going to combine everything that we found, not only on our experience keeping this fish, but also with all the other research out there into one video. Hope you enjoy it and let's dive right in. So before we dive into all the specifics of caring for this cichlid, it's really important to understand how to identify the black acara. It took me a long time to figure out what this fish was, but after narrowing it down to a, a few different species, we finally figured it out. We've had this black acara for about a year now. We got him as a juvenile when he was about an inch long, and now he's about four inches. Here's a picture of what he's going to look like once he's colored up and more mature. As you can see, it's a two-spot cichlid, that's a nickname for it, and that's how you can really identify this guy. The black acara can be especially hard to identify as a juvenile, as it does look a lot like some of the other cichlids and fish of a similar size. We're going to show a few examples of the fish it might be mistaken for, what your local fish store might label it as when it's sold, and here's a first example here. This is a dwarf flag cichlid, and as you can see, it's very similar in size and shape, but it has more rounded fins and more bright coloration. And here we have a rainbow cichlid, which has more orange and yellow throughout its body, and you'll see that even when they're in juvenile stages. The black acara can also be mistaken for the blue acara that you see right here. Not the electric blue version, but the regular. And then also the keyhole cichlid, front and center here, one of its tank mates. That's actually what I bought this cichlid thinking it was a keyhole. The local fish store sold me this fish as a Maroni cichlid, aka the keyhole. It turned out to be a different species, and luckily it's not a fish that gets huge, and it's not a fish that's aggressive, so it fit in really well with my current setup. This black acara is relatively shy, and it's been pretty difficult just to get footage of him out and about. He hangs back here in the back corner of the aquarium fairly often. We've rescaped this tank quite a few times and of late we added a, a light that's a little dimmer and much more hiding places so that he feels more comfortable. Um, he does seem to come out much more often now. Because they're more shy and peaceful cichlid, they can be in some community setups. Right now he's in a tank with three keyhole cichlids and he had been in a tank with Geophagus species. Swimming at the top of this tank are the Harley Quinn Rasboras. I have a school of nine of those. They may not be a suitable tank mate long term. So far he has not paid them any attention. But since these cichlids can get relatively large, I may need to move him into my 75 gallon aquarium down the line. So these guys can get up to about six to eight inches. I would guess that they're more on the six inch range, especially if they're a female. A really interesting thing about the black acara is that when you turn on the lights for the first time or they're in a darker situation, their coloration is much more dark. Look at the difference here compared to when the light is on. Its primary habitat are in the river basins and slow moving water in South America. However, a really interesting thing about the black acara is that they also live in Florida. In the mid 90s, they were definitely released in large numbers into the wild, whether that's from fish farms or from other hobbyists. But they've really taken over and they're kind of an invasive species in Florida similar to the tilapia. So at times you'll see this fish caught from local fishermen in Florida. Here's an example. And as you can see, they get much darker as they mature. And also if you don't have a white substrate like me, you might see some of that darker coloration when they're younger. So when it comes to tank size, these guys can get pretty big for a cichlid, so I wouldn't recommend anything less than a 40 gallon breeder. 
As mentioned, this guy is likely to go down to my 75 gallon tank long term. And because it's a tropical fish, you likely need a heater. I keep my tank at about 78 to 80 degrees and they do just great. As long as you're keeping up with your water changes, making sure your nitrates are low, this fish should thrive in your tank. They do sift through sand, so if you have live plants in the tank, you may need to tie them down to different decor, as they do tend to uproot most plants. Black Acaras are not picky eaters whatsoever. In the wild, they're omnivores, so just giving them a, a healthy balance will definitely go a long way. This black acara has a healthy mix of blood worms, brine shrimp, cobalt aquatics, ultra pellets, or flakes are great. If you're interested in the food that we're giving this guy, or really any of the equipment for this tank, just check out the description below. We'll leave links to all the different items we talked about. Many of their characteristics and their care guides are very similar to the electric blue acara. We did a species profile on that and we'll leave that card in the upper right hand corner in case you'd like to see more. But overall this cichlid is peaceful, it's beautiful, and it will only get better as it matures with some of that darker coloration. We can't wait to see that transformation take place and provide those updates along the way. We hope you learned something new today and found this interesting. If you'd like to see more videos like this, definitely consider subscribing. We come out with videos on a weekly basis and uh, we love sharing everything about cichlids and f other fish in the hobby. So just want to say thanks again for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.